The Toronto Marlies have hit the halfway point of the American Hockey League season, 38 games in, 38 more to come. 29 wins so far in those 38 games for the Toronto Marlies and a successful season so far. That can always turn on a dime. Here at the MasterCard Center in Etobicoke, first year head coach Sheldon Keefe getting a practice in, something he has not had a lot of opportunity to do over the last couple of months. It's been a lot of games. The Marlies playing more games than almost everyone in the American Hockey League. It's been a challenge. Uh, it's been a challenge for sure. That's been a big thing that I've gone through. Uh, and the way the travel and everything works, it's much, much different uh, than junior hockey. Not that the trips are any further, but they're longer and just the way the schedules work. Uh, sometimes you're staying an extra night. You, you know, if you're flying like we did last weekend, you can't fly to the next day, so you kind of lose a day there. Um, and, you know, you're always jockeying back and forth about when to give days off and whatnot. Um, you know, because sometimes those travel days aren't, they're, they're days off the ice, but they're not necessarily days off because they can be grinding on you too. So that's all, that's all part of it. It's all part of my adjustment to the league. And it's all part of playing in the AHL. But it's important that we do get the guys on the ice and we make sure we continue to get, make them better. It comes back to, you know, you have to know yourself, what, what you have to do to make sure you're at the top of your game. So maybe the team doesn't have a practice, but you're in the gym by yourself or you're in the gym after practice, getting into the extra work to make sure you're, you're, you're fresh because uh, especially us, we played so many games. We played more games, I think, than anybody in the league. So, uh, as far as we really haven't had many practices over the last month, there's been it's been games, it's been Christmas break. So, uh, when you do have them, you have, you have to take advantage of it, and make sure you're you know you're doing it right. No, with all the travel we got, uh, it's hard to get any practice in. And when we do, uh, it's sure the rest is important. So we get the team got to manage, uh, like to get us rested before the game. But uh, I think every practice is important to work in the system and. Uh, Get uh, the fix. I think that uh, that been wor have more difficulty on. I think uh, we watch video. We're trying to correct that, but it's always easier to do it in practice. It's kind of just having fun every day, uh, staying at that mental level of just uh, enjoying the game, enjoying being with the team, and and loving to play every chance you get. The shuffling continuing at goal for the Toronto Marlies is Antoine Bebo, who has been back and forth a fair bit in the last couple of months, finds himself back here with the Marlies ahead of the three games this week. Josh Levo got the call up, and as Sheldon Keefe points out, it was a lot of hard work for Josh Levo to get the call. Well, we're very excited for him. I think that he's, he's very much ready for the opportunity. I think he's playing really good hockey right now. He's very confident. Um, you know, he, he's played well for us all season, but in particular this this most recent weekend here coming off this trip where we had a number of players out he really stepped up and I thought uh, you know gave our team an offensive boost and a lot of other areas of his game have really improved as well so he's ready for this we're thrilled for him. Also seeing some guys get some success getting called up guys like Mark Arcabello guys like Josh Levo how, how gratifying and how necessary is it for a team to see guys get that success? Yeah it's awesome you know you you want to know and you know in your mind if you're doing the right things and you know, you're excelling at this level and you know uh, really putting in the work that the the opportunities are there to be recalled if if stuff happens up top so you know really happy for Josh and uh, Arco as well three games this week for the Toronto Marlies they'll get on the bus on Tuesday play Utica at the Utica Memorial Auditorium on Wednesday night and then go to St. John's on the weekend where they will play the ice caps on Saturday and Sunday